It's Queens, baby. What? Yo, Uncle Ralph out there. Yo, what's good, Uncle Ralph? What's up, Ralph? What's up, Uncle Ralph? It's your boy Flip the Narrow. Fabulous. Fat Joe. It's the R-U-L-E. And we live on the Hush Hip Hop Tour. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hush Hip Hop Tours, we are in the bus. We just touched down in Queens, New York. It's going down. What up, baby? Yes, indeed. We in the bridge right now. You see what it is. It ain't hard to tell. I excel, then prevail. The mic is contacted. I attract clientele. My mic check is like... Destination Queens Bridge, New York. Home of Nas. Home of, of course, Mob Deep, a legendary group. Home of my man, MC Shan, Molly Ma, Roxanne Shantae. They all grew up over here, right here, right here in this project. It's going down right here. We in the bridge, baby. And it's Uncle Ralph, and we navigating through. Dress like Motrin, then extend strong. I drink my wet with Medusa, give us shotguns and hell. From the sun that I lived in in hell, it ain't hard to tell. One of the first videos I worked on was for a guy named Nas, Nasty Nas coming out of this project's right here, Queensbridge. We did a video for the song, It Ain't Hard To Tell. Let me tell y'all, crazy. Going down, the bridge is hot. Gunshots is going off. This is the 90s, this is the crack era. A lot happened and Nas says, yo, Ralph, I wanna look out for the crew, man. So I don't think we should shoot the video in Queensbridge. I think we should do it in Manhattan. I said, but you from the bridge? He says, yeah, but I wanna look out for the crew because there's a lot of gang stuff going on. There's a lot of shootings going on. So we end up shooting that video, not here in the bridge, but in Coney Island and Long Island City and LES. That's Nas, baby, looking out for people, making sure that everybody was safe. Right here, Queens, New York. <laughs> Roxanne Shantae is in the building. What's good, girl? What's going on? How are you? Tell us a little bit about Roxanne's Revenge and how that started off. DJ Molly Mall happened to call me out of his window and was like, listen, you know, I heard that you're a great battle rapper. And at that time I had built the name up for myself for being one of the uh, best battle rappers in the city. And he said, look, um, I got this beat and I want to hear you just do a quick freestyle. So I was like, look, I'm in the middle of doing my laundry. I got about maybe 10 minutes to move. So it's gonna take me like two minutes to get there. So it's gonna be about seven minutes to run. So I gotta get back to doing this laundry. And um, I went to his house and in one take, I did Roxanne's Revenge. Well, my name is Roxanne. I don't say no, I just a cold rock a party and I do this show. I said I'm with these three guys and you know it's true. Uh, let me tell you- They played it on a radio and I remember coming outside the next day and literally becoming Roxanne Shantae overnight. We met you because they were like, you know, you're gonna make a video. And I was like, what, a video? I was like, okay, let me get dressed up. Let me get ready. We're going to make a video. I remember you saying, okay, listen, you're going to get, you got a limo. Because I think one of the neighbors on the street, their, their limo was parked outside. And I was like, oh, okay, so we're going to get in the limo and ride? You was like, no, we're going to get in the limo. You're going to walk around. You're going to walk back out. I said, like a clown car? You said, exactly, like a clown car, everybody. We're going to get out and pretend like we're in this limo. And I thought that that was hilarious, but it was so sincere. I remember you bringing everybody heroes. That's right. There was no no buffets, no um, no catering. You would have okay. got everybody heroes from the corner store. It was like, okay, yes. look, here's the food, and um, it just led for a great day. And I think that day made me love hip hop even more. Yeah. You know, everybody just pitched in what they had, and look what we did. We created history. I want to know why. Why'd you have to make a record about me? The R-O-S-A-N-N-E. Hey, look, you're not going to believe this, but I'm in Queensbridge houses where you grew up at. You know, Queensbridge is the largest housing project in the world. And wow. you're talking about 96 buildings. You're talking about over six blocks. You're talking over 30,000 tenants on any given day. So wow. when you grew up in Queensbridge, you didn't just grow up in a project. One thing about Queensbridge is that when you grow up there, 
you never forget anything about Queensbridge. Like if I was to lose my sight, I could walk through Queensbridge completely <laughs> and know every place I'm at. We still here, Ralph. We still here. <laughs> you know what? I mean, it's always like to me, like you were like a well-rounded artist. What does it mean to be from Queens and an artist coming out? Because the legacy has always been tight. Everybody's always done that thing. My, my Queens roots run deep, man, because I've been a part of so many circles in Queens. You know, um, from from you know going back to Lost Boys and Onyx. <laughs> You know, we all, we, we was all out over at John Adams High School and shit together, you know? Uh, yeah, so I, I you know, I, I I watched a lot of it all unfold. And then being from Hollis, you know, Run DMC and, and LL Cool J right there from Farmers. My MC roots are very well rooted when you talk about Queens. And then, you know, Nas is the homie from over in Queensbridge. And then, you know, me and Fifth had beef, so you know, it's yeah. like, I yeah. covered all the bases in Queens, you know what I'm saying? And Queens always have your, those official colors, man, Some something different. <laughs> Queens is different, man. We our own animal out in Queens. You know what I mean, Ralph? We it's something in the water about Queens. There's so many artists that came from Queens. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, the list is long of, of hip hop <laughs> artists that were successful from Queens. Yeah. I mean, yeah. and, and you, 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 the godfather, Russ, is, he, you know, he, he definitely put just about every artist you could think of on the map when it comes to Queens and taught all of the moguls how to how to how to do what they do. So yeah, man, Queens, we, we did a lot, we did a lot of hip hop. You know what I think about Queens, man. <laughs> Back in the days, man, it was it was you a bus, Ralph. So man, yeah. I salute you, King. You we appreciate you, man. And, and, and hip hop wouldn't be where it's at without you. So you 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 know the drill. Ralph McDaniels, we are here. We are in Hollis, Queens, doing what we do. Like you know, I told y'all, I grew up in this neighborhood. Been down from the 80s. My man, Jam Master Jay, who I know for years, been holding it down. This is how we do it. Run DMC, Way, Jam Master Jay, 2 -fifth in Hollis. We've been doing it like this since the 80s, baby. Yeah, I make it happen. Yeah. I stay with a bad bitch, make no mistake. You know that she packing. Hey. The gang is out, move. Oh. All of my hitters, they shoot. Oh, shoot. Gorillas out. Ooh, oh. we come and they don't make a we move. Come it's dinner time, you fool. Oh. Yeah, my holy stay with a two. Oh. And my bitches stay with Chanel bags. Oh. And they pack a 38 two. Oh. The gang is out, move. Oh. All of my hitters, they shoot. Oh. Gorillas out. Ooh, oh. we come and they don't make a don't move. Make move. It's dinner time, you fool. Oh. Tell us about this 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 ground right here, because this St. Albans and South Side and North Side. This is a lot of history right here. It is. Me, I know this is the DMC side, Run DMC, very legendary side of Queens. Oh, all right, so you hearing all this music as a little little one coming up. Growing up, actually, I played ball, so I never even thought I would be oh, rapping right now. Yeah, yeah. Very, that's the thing, I'm very competitive, yeah. so I'm competitive on myself. Yeah. I ain't graduate college, but they acknowledge my talent, soon as I step in. On the ground, way before reaching my adolescence, cash crazy. What influences what you do today? You know, who you are, who you become? You know, it's funny, believe it or not, I like R&B. So, <laughs> I have a lot of um, aunts. I have a big family. They're predominantly female. So, oh. but rap wise, I used to listen to a lot of DMX yeah. when I was supposed to. I grew up, I listened to DMX. Yeah. Hope, of course. Yes. But when I got into hip hop, of course, I did my homework and. Yeah. Lyrics? Yeah. Like, you known for that? Absolutely. Was there pressure on you coming up that you had to show out like that? When I write, I do music, I try to make sure. My bars on my freestyle, whatever it is, is better than the last one or can keep up with the last one. So been coming from Queens is a very competitive borough. I just go hard with everything I do. North side, south side, Queens, stand up. We've been out here all day. And of course we had to catch the future legend, Kaya Baby. Kaya Baby, young goat. Hopping out, you know it's sun when the doors lift. Queens get the money, we only stacking it up with. Cheese stay icy, cause shit get spicy. She on demon time, I get her a time piece. Yeah! DJ 
Camillo. What's up, baby? Amazing neighborhood, amazing place you have called Blends Astoria. That's right, Blends Astoria. We Wait. should go sit down and eat something. All right, let's do it, man. So Camillo, tell me what is Blends? Why did you call it Blends? So when me and my partners got together and had a bright idea to open a restaurant which we know nothing about, mm -hmm. you know, we wanted to do Latin food, but what we wanted to do was blend in different dishes from different Latin countries. So we have a Brazilian dish, a Peruvian dish, a Colombian dish, a Puerto Rican, a Dominican dish, all in one Latin spot, which you can't find really, you know? Yes. And then on top of that, you know, I'm a DJ. Right. I mix, I blend, I rock, you That's know? That's what I thought it was, you know? <laughs> but I like the way you mix in the different cultures and the, and the taste. I remember, I think I have pictures of you playing out of your crates back in the oh, day. Oh, 100%. Well, that's how I grew up learning the craft. I started in the early 90s, mid 90s with the mixtape game. Yeah. Back then, it was just vinyl. Right. It was nothing else. Wow. You know, then the CDJs came and all that. But yeah. my vinyl collection, I still have it. Still have it. I refuse to get rid of it. I work yes. too hard for it. I, yeah. You know, that's a beauty, man. Ho yeah. uh, hopefully, vinyl never dies. I remember when you first came to Hot 97, and you had flyers that were very colorful. The artwork was different right. than everybody else's. And then on the other side, it would say how many dates you had. Right. You know what? I come from the mixtape game where everything was promo. Mm -hmm. It's just not like how nice you are on the set. What I would do is hit the club and on the low, give out all to the other people. Club owners used to hate that. Right. You know, but that was part of my game. I was always promoting. Yeah. I think I might have a couple of those flyers somewhere in the stash, but I took it home with me to study the vibe on it, you know? Right. But you, you, you're right. You did. You broke the game with that, man. Astoria, we here. Let's get it moving. Hush Hip Hop Tours.